Hey folks, it's Marvin Cash, the host of the Articulate Fly, and we're back with another Central PA Fishing Report with George Costa of TCO Fly Shop in State College. How are you doing, George? I'm amazing as always. I bet a little wet today. Yeah, I was going to say, I took a look at your weather. I was actually shocked you got your guide trip in yesterday, but uh, you're going to get kind of rained on probably, I don't know, six or seven of the next 10 days? No, uh, yeah, they're calling for a fair amount. You know, it started last night. So we probably got about a half an inch or so out there. Everything is creeping up. So um, everything's getting high and getting off color. The jay's already blown. Spring is on the rise. Pens is on the rise. Fishing Creek's on the rise. Um, we're supposed to get the bulk of it today into tonight. Um, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday, we're only supposed to get maybe another tenth to a quarter. So I think the rivers are probably going to creep, start creeping down by tomorrow night. Um, I want to be optimistic about it and say we're still going to be able to fish Sunday Tomorrow, spring may be fishable along the edges. Um, I don't think it's going to get gross like it did about a month ago, but we definitely got enough rain to, you know, put a damper on things for the for the foreseeable couple of days here. Um, so that kind of that kind of stinks since our hatches are really starting to get strong right now. We've had great sulfurs, great March browns, um, tan caddis have been good. Um, so we're right in the thick of it now. But you know, this this will happen from time to time where you get a couple of days where we can't fish. But you know, next week. The long-term forecast is still looking a little rainy, but, you know, who knows? It's only 20%, 30%. They start doing that and, you know, got to wait till a day out to really get a good idea of what's happening. Yeah, so it sounds like probably uh, maybe streamer fishing on Sunday, maybe uh, jigging streamers on the edges, stuff like that. Sure, yeah, you can definitely throw some streamers. I think that streamers are going to be a good option. I think that those, you know, little wormy patterns along the edges are going to be good options. And, you know, plenty of fish move to the edges, and if there's still good hatches, you can still get plenty of dry flights in the dirty water. You're just going to be fishing the skinny stuff where the fish can actually see up. And, um, you know, clarity is going to be key to dry fly fishing if anything is available this this next coming day. So got to just kind of pay attention to what's going on. Yeah, just step in and see if you can see your boots, right? Exactly. If you can't see your boots, you probably uh, should go see a movie. <laughs> Speaking of, what do, what do you suggest? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, <laughs> uh, you got to prepare better than that, George. You know. Uh, oh man, I'm not prepared. There you go. Well, you know, folks, we love questions at the Articulate Fly. You can email them to us or DM us on social media, whatever is easiest for you. And if we use your question, I will send you some Articulate Fly swag. We we're going to have a drawing for something cool from the shop at the end of the season. And, George, before I let you go, I guess a couple of things. One, I saw stuff on social media. You've got your new store up and running, but I know you've also got a fishing tournament coming up too, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we've got a couple of fun things. The Muncie store up in the Williamsport area is up and running there. They've been open a couple of weeks. So if you're up in the Muncie, Williamsport area, go and check out our new store at the Euro Optics building there um, in Muncie, PA. Uh, we do have our all fins in tournament coming up in the second week of June. Um, it's a fantastic tournament. It is um, just great. It's been, this is the fifth year we've done it. Um, super fun. Go catch as many species of fish as possible in the Pennsylvania, central PA area. We've got a great turnout. It's for a great organization. All proceeds go to Clearwater Conservation. So a couple of really cool things coming up this spring and summer. Um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, and do you have, uh, I bet you have some uh, learning to fly fish uh, classes going on this summer too, right? If I have any classes open, I mean, most of those things fill up. We do have some classes available. Um, I think I have space maybe for my June class, but I'm pretty sure that my May class is full. So check out the website, um, tcoflyfishing.com, and uh, we got all the classes for all our stores listed on there. Yeah, and of course, if you wanted to book a guide trip, you should have done that yesterday, right? You should have done that the last month. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> well, before I let you get back to the joy and rapture that is retail and fly fishing, you want to let folks know, uh, yeah, shop hours, the location, all that kind of good stuff? Absolutely. Our hours um, here in State College are 9 to 6, um, Monday through Saturday, 9 to 3 on Sunday. All our other stores have similar hours. Um, check us out here or on the website, tcoflyfishing.com. Yeah, well, there you go. Well, listen, folks, you know, when the water drops, don't be stupid. Uh, carry a waiting staff and be careful. Um, you know, you owe it to yourself to uh, to get out there and catch a few. Tight lines, everybody. Tight lines, George. Take it easy, Mark.